Hi y'all, this is Kathy and welcome to the channel. And I appreciate you so much for checking me out. So today I have got a little video of my summer kitchen and dining room and my kitchen is all lemoned out no i have not gotten to fall yet sorry y'all it's gonna be a while <laughs> i know a lot of people are already getting started on fall mm, it's sorry it's still july i'm i'm, I'm just now getting into my lemon phase, which I love a lemon kitchen. It's my favorite decor in the kitchen. Um, and I hope that you enjoy it. Most of the things that I have gotten in the kitchen were either thrifted or I got them really, really cheap at Hobby Lobby on sale or I got a few things on Amazon um, so most of the things I already had I so this this wasn't something that I I spent a lot of money on so I used what I had and I just added a few little things a few little touches lemony touches so I hope you enjoyed that um, I redid my little arrangements in the dining room and um, I think that turned out uh, nice it's it's not really summer oriented but it's got some color little pops of color and so um and some blue and white so which i love so i hope you enjoy this video and i hope that you will stay to the end and i hope that you will like and subscribe if you like what you see on my channel um it's we're getting to the close to the end of summer y'all it won't be long and school will be starting again so um that's kind of an exciting new start and as a former teacher I always look forward to getting things ready at the beginning of school it's just kind of a neat time of year so I hope you're doing well I hope you've had some time to rest and relax this summer and that you have a little bit of time left to do so. Uh, we haven't been anywhere. We've just been at home, hanging out with our grandson and loving that. So I hope that you've had some family time as well. Um, we've had a lot of trouble with our oldest little puppy. She has not been well. We found out she has Cushing's disease and thyroid problems and the vet gave her medication for both of those and she is like a new dog. So Miss Gertie is doing good and we are so excited about that because she was keeping us up. We're getting up three, four, five times a night with her. It was just terrible. And I know she didn't feel good and now she's her old peppy self. So she and Lily are just living their best life this summer in their new backyard and loving it. <laughs> All right, so hey, let's get to some decorating, you guys. I've got everything styled, already done, so I hope you enjoy it. Leave me a comment. So we're going to start at our little... Eden kitchen area and I have changed things up on the table, switched out the placemats, I added my lemon runner which I already had and then um, I've got all my little faux lemons that I got 75% off at Hobby Lobby and then the little uh, lemon candle holder at the top. That came from my sweet friend, Mary Lee. So Mary Lee, thank you, I love it so much. I didn't put a candle in it. I just put it on top of a wreath and I think it is precious. So that is our Eden kitchen area, table, kitchen table. And so I like the changes. I've still got to paint the two uh, rounded back chairs to match the table and chairs. They're sort of an antique white, but I am going to paint them with uh, Heirloom Traditions paint to match the color of everything else that I've painted in 
this old kitchen table set that I've got. And then over here, I've got a basket with a little lot of faux lemons. Got, again, those were my 75% off lemons that I got at Hobby Lobby. And then this teapot I got at Goodwill about a year ago. And this little arrangement of lemons and blueberries. I got six stems on Amazon and they were fairly inexpensive. I don't remember how much I paid for them, but I just love them. I think it just looks so fresh and nice. And so I am gonna be enjoying this lemon kitchen probably till September. And then I will start a little fall decor but look how happy that is. I mean, that yellow just pops. And then um, I have redone the counter space a little bit over here on this other counter. <clears throat> I found this adorable napkin holder, which I will show you in just a little while. I found it at an antique mall for a little of nothing and so I thought it was just adorable. Got my lemon towel, and I got those towels at, I think, TJ Maxx. Uh, I had, I've had those, so I've had them a while. And I still got my canister set, which I love, love, love. And that just stays out all the time. And my little spoon rest I got at um, Good... Yeah, that was a Goodwill find. And this is a Fitz and Floyd salt and pepper shaker. Uh, got that at Goodwill in the box, brand new. <laughs> I've had that for a while. So here is this adorable little napkin holder. It is vintage. Um, I don't think I paid much for it. Maybe $12, I'm thinking I paid for that, but it's so cute. And then um, I changed out the wreath on my pantry door and I got this little cute lemon wreath at Hobby Lobby and it was, I believe, 40% or 50%. I guess it was 40% off. Um, but I just love that. I think it is so cute. And I have really enjoyed that cute pantry door in our new kitchen in this house in Texas. So there's another view of the cute lemon towels. I've got a set of two, but I just put one out. Um, the biscotti, the lemon biscotti jar is a Goodwill find from a while back. And um, there's something about the green and the yellow and the blue. It just really makes me happy. It's, those are just some happy colors. And this little uh, lemon tray thingy, <laughs> I don't know what you call it, it's uh, got three little lemons attached. And it was a Goodwill find as well. So that is the kitchen and the eat-in area in the kitchen. But... I just love putting out the lemon stuff in the kitchen. I would leave it up all year. I mean, I really would, because I just think it is so cute and fun in the kitchen. All right, so we're gonna look at what I have got, and I've just got my little Fitz and Floyd bread box up there on top of the fridge. But I've got, um, a little arrangement up on top of the counter above the sink there's another view whoa that was fast wasn't it <laughs> here's another view and um, I've got my roosters and a little greenery and a couple of lemons there so that is the kitchen you guys and I've got some photos that I've taken so I'm gonna let you enjoy those while you listen to a little bit of music
So here we are in the dining room. I, um, I did get some new placemats at Home Goods, I believe it was. Um, <clears throat> so I've got those down. I've got my white chargers down and then some of my blue and white plates. So I've kind of kept the blue and white theme here on the dining room table. And that runner, I, I've had that for a while. Um, these are my little faux muffins. <laughs> I think they're super cute. I got those on Amazon. And the little blue and white orbs, those um, were a Goodwill find. And all the blue and white plates were Goodwill finds. So um, just whenever I see one, I pick it up and I've accumulated a nice little collection of plates that way and then here we've got a lot of my Fitz and Floyd stuff a few of my roosters so I just I've just got I've got every all of my little different pops of color over here in this area and let me tell you, I found this pig. This is a pig teapot. Been looking for it for a long time. It goes with this platter. And I found this little piggy at um, an antique mall. And I had found the platter um, oh, some time ago at Goodwill. So um, I was tickled to death. But let me tell you, when I picked it up to show it to my husband in the antique mall, the little um, top to the teapot fell out and broke. <laughs> and um, I was very sad about that. But I put a little greenery in it, and I think it looks sweet that way. So, oh, man. I guess I'm just, you know, I'm one of those clumsy people, and I, <laughs> I drop things. So here's just another view of a little table that I've got in the dining room. And those were all Goodwill finds, everything you see on that table. Now I have to admit, I have not found any good thrift stores here in Texas. And I'm pretty sad about that. So I guess I'm gonna be going to antique malls because um, the, the Goodwills, they're just uh, really bad. So, and there aren't any that are really close by. So I'm missing my Goodwill in Colorado because that place was a honey hole. I mean, fantastic things there. But I will persist and find some good thrift places here in Texas because I know there gotta be some around here. <laughs> But that is the dining room, and I think it looks happy. And no, we, we have not eaten in there. Now, my grandson, he has had his lunch in there, <laughs> but
but we have not had a family meal in there, which we will do. And I did add some cushions that I had to the chairs in the dining room. So um, that'll make those, those chairs are so uncomfortable, but they're really cute. And of course that was my mother-in-law's dining room furniture. So here are some photos that I hope you'll enjoy. And I tell you what guys, I am thanking you so much for staying to the end of this video and I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope it gave you some motivation to use what you got. I didn't really go out and buy very many things for any of this, very, very minimum. So use what you got and use it in a different way and restyle those areas in your home and it doesn't have to cost a penny. So take care, you guys. I'm sending you hugs. Thanks again for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.